what you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at the best free uh, security setup for 2018 now there is quite a lot of software out there that you can choose from and it's going to be totally up to you what you choose to use so i'm going to show you some of the stuff that i'm going to be using for 2018 and uh, we'll go ahead and get right into it so let's have a look here so first off I've gone with Avast now I was using Windows Defender and I've had no problems with Windows Defender I see a lot of people uh, running Windows Defender down uh, but if you use Windows 10 Smart Screen and Defender and a few other bits and pieces on there you shouldn't get infected really uh, a lot of it's just common sense people clicking on stuff and you can test that the cows come home and uh, to be honest uh, Windows 10 is pretty secure uh, more so than Windows 7 and its previous versions of Windows. So Avast has been around a long time. It's had a good makeover as you can see here. It looks quite sexy and nice and uh, it's very uh, secure and will keep you uh, protected against malware. Now the downside of these, it does come with adverts and that's because it's free. So it's going to be totally up to you whether you want to use that. If you don't, then go, a pay, go and pay for a paid version and that can be whatever one that floats your boat. Uh, whether it will be Bitdefender, Kaspersky, ESET and even Avast itself you can buy the pro version if you want which is the paid version and uh, go with that so it's totally up to you so this is what I'm going for for the free version and I've got this set up on the system now in 2017 I used Windows Defender and I never got infected whatsoever and that's because obviously uh, I'm very careful on what I click on so if you're not one of those types of people you may not want to use Windows Defender so moving on to the next one I've gone with uh, Malwarebytes and I've always used Malwarebytes for many years I think it's a very good program and yes you can use other programs so I'm not suggesting it's the best out there it does what it needs to do for me and uh, it protects against a lot of good stuff so I very rarely uh, get any sort of nasty stuff uh, with these uh, two set up like this so if you use a bit of common sense and you've got this set up like this uh, you should be okay now you may be saying hold on a sec Brian this is not a free piece of software well you could actually use the free version of Malwarebytes and do regular scans set up yourself a folder and uh, have a little list of stuff that you want to carry out in there like clean out your old temporary files, run uh, regular scans, and you should be pretty much good to go from there. So you could use the free version, uh, but the premium version does give you that added protection, uh, real-time protection when you're uh, surfing the internet and stuff like that. So that's the reason why I think the premium version is a pretty good version to go for. And of course, you're gonna have other people out there that don't like malware bytes and they like their other choices. And I'm gonna show you there is other choices out there for you. So if Avast is not your thing, you could use the free version of Bitdefender, which is here. It's really nice. It's had a, just a bit of a makeover, as I've said. And uh, also you could go with uh, Kaspersky's free version if you wanted to, but then you're gonna get the American people saying, oh, he's in conjunction with uh, you know Russia and all this sort of stuff and and they don't you know what I mean so it goes on a bit so you choose whatever one you want to do and uh, uh, and stick with it as long as you're careful now the premium version of Malwarebytes is very good it's very affordable and you can get it from here there's another one you can use which is equally good as well and very good also which is MCSoft now of course you can sit here and test these both together and one's going to come out a winner one week and then again the other one will come out a winner another time so it's tit for tat uh, throughout the course of the year so the choice is entirely yours another good mention here for Zimana anti-malware is another good uh, piece of software you can use and of course they do uh, free ones and down and uh, also a paid version here let me just see here Zimana Anti-Malware If you've never heard of this program it's pretty good at removing malware and detecting malware and of course I use a firewall I don't use Windows Firewall I've gone back and I've been using Zone Alarm 3 for about a year now and uh, 
I used to use Zone Alarm many years ago, and I think they lost their way a little bit, but now they've sort of come back, and uh, I do like their free and uh, firewall here, which is going to help uh, block out a lot of stuff. Now, with this setup that I'm using here, Avast, and I'm also using Malwarebytes Premium, and also we've got the free version of uh, Zone Alarm here. Now you do get the odd pop-up uh, for adverts for the free uh, Zone Alarm firewall, uh, but that doesn't bother me, I'll just close it off, it's no big deal. But it is protecting me and you can set up your own preferences in here. It gives you full control of your applications. You can block applications, you can block uh, internet access going out and in, and you'll be surprised uh, how much Windows 10 wants to go out onto the internet all the time every time you start a video and things like that It's really weird how Windows 10 works and this can block a lot of that stuff And it's also good at blocking stuff that's coming into your computer once you learn how to use a firewall You can literally uh, block a lot of stuff from coming into your computer with a firewall It's a very powerful uh, way of blocking um, Infections and stuff like that and files from running on your system so they're the three that I've gone for. And again, you can mix it up as much as you like. You can use whatever flavor you like, whatever free version of uh, uh, antivirus, and you can use whatever version of your anti-malware, whether it be MCSoft, Malwarebytes, Zimana, Hitman Pro. There's loads of them out there. You choose whichever one you want to go for, and uh, but they're the ones that I'm using. And again, I'm using a firewall here which is uh, the Zone Alarm free firewall. They're the free that I'm using on this system and I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to get infected whatsoever because I'm not going to be clicking on dodgy links that lead me uh, to somewhere or download a file. I'm not going to be running any malicious software on here, any pirate software or anything like that that's going to affect my system. And of course, you're just using a bit of common sense when you're searching the internet and uh, don't fall foul to any of those uh, you know fake sites that will say you've won uh, an iphone x and stuff like that and then you click on the next thing you know you get infected so you use a bit of common sense and you should be pretty much good to go anyway i'm going to wrap this one up i hope this one helps you out let me know in the comment section below what your setup is and what you think uh, is the best and reason why and uh, we can discuss it maybe and find out whether that is a good uh, setup now if you haven't subscribed yet you can go to my main youtube channel here Click on the red subscribe button and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button and this will notify you when I upload new videos. So anyway, have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.